Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic about the shared memory. So to see the shared memory which is allocated in the system, we use the command called IPCS minus A minus M for shared memory. So this will talk about just the shared memory for different segments. Okay, this is the shared memory ID, who is the owner for that shared memory, what is the permission and the shared memory which is allocated. Okay, so that is about the shared memory, but as we have seen that this parameter is configured in sysctl.conf file in EDC folder. So anything related with shared memory for semaphores, okay, they are configured in etc sysctl.conf file, but we can see what is allocated here. Okay, how do we modify them? So to modify these values, as we know, they are there in this folder. So let's go to this folder first. So if we go to this proc folder, let's say proc sys and kernel folder. And if you just do ls here, you will find information about shared SHM, shared memory, semaphores. Okay. So all the shared memory related stuff, semaphore related stuff can be configured using more by modifying these files. Uh, by, this shows that what is this value and we can modify them by modifying sysctl.conf and let's say SHM. So this is about the shared memory which need to be modified. So shared memory, semaphore, Okay, so this is how we modify this and once the change is done, just type sysctl minus p. Okay, so that's how we manage the shared memory, the number of semaphores in a system. Okay, then there is this command that we have seen, ipcs minus a, we have seen, if we just type ipcs, it will give you about the message queues, the semaphores and the shared memory. Okay, this is also a pretty important command because it will tell you especially for database kind of scenario which is extremely important whether your system has enough shared memory, enough semaphores, enough message queues. So that is extremely important. Okay, then let's look at the help for this particular command IPCS let's say minus H is for help. So you will see if you use minus M option, you will see shared memory. If you use minus Q option, you will see messages. You use minus S option is semaphore and everything is this option. So this is how we use this particular command called IPCS command. Okay, and there is one very important thing about removing in memory structure. So how do we remove that is once you find out the semaphore ID, once you find out the ID and then you can just remove that IPCS minus RM and then minus M and the message whatever that number is there. Okay so using that you can kill that. So let's see that so what we are seeing, what I want to show you guys is IPCS minus SM that is shared memory and semaphores and let's identify something, let's say this is the one that, okay so this is something I want to kill. So this is the semaphore which is, this is the semaphore ID which is there. So what I can do is I can just type IC, IPCS minus S and the semaphore ID in this particular case is so it will be IPCRM because I want to remove it. So minus S and the semaphore ID. So this way what will happen is that this semaphore it will be removed. And if we again run this command minus SM, you will find that that semaphore is gone. So this is how we 
remove the semaphores if something is stuck, something is not working. We use the command IPC RM for that. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular topic. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.